Oh, hey there, people. How the frigs are going today? So, last night, getting liquored up and uh, getting on the video games till a late hour in the morning. I'm going to say right now, it wasn't a good idea. I currently have about an hour before I got to depart for work. I got the worst hangover ever, and it's going to be an interesting day. A very interesting day. Not interesting as in, in video production. Interesting in as, am I going to make it? Yeah. Ty went off last night, probably shouldn't have, but I did anyway, and yeah, I won't learn my lesson. Who am I kidding? Any hoozle. So, today I go in from uh, 12.30 to 9.30, tomorrow it's 10.30 to 7.30, and then uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's 2 to 11.30, so that's not a big deal, but... Uh, Holy shit. <sighs> Gonna push on through and Tuesday I'll call around because tomorrow's a holiday. Tomorrow's the uh, May 2 for weekend. So it's a long weekend right now. So yeah. Yeah. So I get double tax and a half tomorrow. Whoop de do. But uh, yeah. Tuesday I want to call around and get someone to work on my car and spin some wrenches and put my struts in. And I can't call around today because it's Sunday, everything's closed. Tomorrow everything's closed because it's Monday, long weekend. So we'll get that all fitted for Tuesday. I just don't think I'm doing too much before work right now. So I'm really not feeling like being alive, to be honest with you. Alrighty people, well it's time for me to bounce, head off to work, put in my shift. Holy fuck. I feel like I got hit by a fucking bus. Just hate the morning shifts, even though it's an afternoon shift, but still hate it. Tonight's gonna be one of those nights where falling asleep is gonna be easy. Let me tell you. Definitely an odd odor out here. Let's get off to work. Yeah, man. I don't feel like working today, but I have no choice. Well, I guess I do have a choice. Theoretically, I could call in sick and lose out on tax and a half tomorrow, but no, 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 no. Let's get this shift over with. I can do this. Not a problem. I've done worse at Ontario. Fuck, the one time I swear to Christ I was still drunk at work. Uh, came home the night before, drank like three of those really big fucking 1.78 liter bottles of beer. Went to bed, woke up at for noon the next day. Went to work, it was winter time, and I barfed all over the snowbank outside. Like, it was fucking bad. I don't feel like barfing today, but I do have the beer farts. I already had a beer shit this morning. And anybody who drinks beer knows what the beer farts are. You know because you've had them yourself when you drink, like, weird beers. Like, drinking Canadian? Meh. Probably wouldn't give you the beer farts. You know, drinking Pilsners? Won't give you the beer farts, but you start getting into the weird beers. The stuff you're not used to that other people are, like the dabs and the patent or the spatten and all that. And then it's just like you're opening up Pandora's box that your arsehole can play the trombone forever. So you kind of gotta, you gotta be a little careful. Jesus, Murphy dandelions everywhere. Ah, nothing that the old fucking lawnmower can't deal with if I ever get around to busting out my old lawnmower. Maybe on Tuesday I'll do that for work. Go outside and mow the grass. Come inside, have a shower, go to work, you know? Maybe that'll be a thing. Unless I get home tomorrow night at a good time and I can do it. Like if I get home tomorrow night at uh, 7.30 and it's still bright out, I might be able to at least get the back here I did and just do the front the next day. Also an option, also an option. See, so yeah, I've been fiddling with the settings on the camera for the microphone. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. Because uh, it does this weird auto gain thing, but I have auto gain turned off, so I don't know why the fuck it's doing that. So, like, it auto adjusts whatever the, the volume is in the car. So, like, when I stop talking, all of a sudden the microphone focuses on the wind noise and will amplify or reduce the sensitivity pick up the wind noise. The moment I start talking again, I come in super loud and then the mic adjusts slowly over time to basically balance my voice out and pretty much gets rid of the wind noise. I just don't understand why the fuck it's got to work like that. Even with it disabled, it still does it, so fucking baffles my tits. Oh, fuck. I don't even feel like vaping. Forgot how dead the roads are on a Sunday. Fucking beautiful day out today, though. Green to me. Green means go, you. You sorting nitwits, eh? Sorting nitwits. Been watching a lot of Top Gear. That's a good show, Dad. Eh? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to all the people in the UK. I just find it I, like I, I've been watching the Top Gear and they do that. Like 
oh, that's a good car, that. And it's like, you just said that at the beginning and the end of your sentence. What the fuck, you know? And they make fun of us because we call it aluminum, not aluminium. When clearly the way it's spelled, there's no I before the U. Oh, fuck my tits. This almost turned out too bad. Of course, my mirrors are completely useless for seeing what's coming. Everybody's in this lane. Yeah, the uh, side view mirrors there don't show dick. But I'm going to get into this lane because I'm going to be making that turn and heading on into work. Stay there, bus. Holy fuck, don't move over. But anyway, people, I'm going to shut her down here carry on my drive and I'll talk to you guys when I'm out of here what time is it that I'm out of here at? I think it's 9.30 so around 9.30 I'll talk to you guys again so until then peace the frig out alrighty people made it to work I'm gonna head in get my shift over with and I'll talk to you guys at 9.30 so until then peace the frig out alrighty guys well it's 9.36 let's get the frig out of here we're done our, oh, our shift for today so let's go home Anyway, people, I'm fucking beat. Just beat. You know what? It's fine and all. Doing the live streams and stuff. But you know what? Maybe on days when I drink the next day. Or, wait, nope. Fuck that one up. Maybe on days when I work the next day. There we go. I probably should stay off the liquor. Or if I'm going to have a couple drinks, just have a couple. Don't drink like fucking ten like I did last night. Well, I only had nine drinks, but that's still like a lot of drinks. It's Jesus Murphy. Like, I'm so lucky that today was a dead day. That I just wasn't busy. Because if it would have been busy, I couldn't keep up. I was fucking just dragging ass all day long. It was way, way, way too much bullshit. Like, I just, I fucking couldn't. I can't pull up. Stomach's still all upset. I'm going to try and go home and fix myself up a bit and maybe get to bed a little earlier tonight and wake up earlier tomorrow because I gotta be up at 8 o'clock tomorrow so I gotta be up in like 10 hours from roughly now well not really but 10 and a half hours from now pretty much to be at work for 10 30 put in some more time they wanted me to work till midnight tonight they're like hey uh any chance you can stay till midnight and I'm like listen I got a nine and a half pound Pomeranian at home with a freaking bladder the size of a walnut. They went, okay, and I said, he's got to go outside. If he doesn't go outside, he's going to wreck the freaking carpet. Oh, you got no one to let him out? I'm like, no. The only people living at home are me, my dog, and my cat. And the cat don't have opposable thumbs, she can't operate the door. And even then, the dog doesn't listen to her. So, and they just laughed. I was like, oh, okay. I'm like, I'm the only one who can let the dog in and out of the house, so I kind of need to go home to let the dog in and out of the house. So I can't do overtime tonight. So, that's basically why I declined the overtime. That, and I'm just not feeling it. I'm feeling fucking rough as shit. You know, one of these nights I might do her. I might stay there for an extra hour and a half or something, pump some overtime. I know it won't be tomorrow, because tomorrow is double tax and a half day. Or yeah, double tax and a half, so, you know, I'll be making the big bucks. <laughs> oh, fuck. And then, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday and Saturday and Sunday I'm off. And on one of those days I know I need to mow my lawn because it's getting kind of ridiculous. But I want to see about banging that out sooner than later. Uh... Tuesday, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to call around and see about getting a price on uh, on a mechanic to put my struts in. I would do it myself. I know it's not a hard job. I watched enough videos on it, but the whole reason why I won't do it myself is because I don't know how to exactly get it perfect. And even when I'm done, I'm gonna need to see a guy about balancing the tires. Not balancing the tires, but uh, aligning the tires. So I figure, fuck it. I might as well just call the uh, Okie Dokie Tire where I got the alignment last year and have them do an alignment this year or have them do the struts and then align it and get it all done in one one shot and if they need to do the brakes we'll get it done then too and I know I've been saying that a lot but the problem is is we're, we're into a like tomorrow's a holiday so I can't call tomorrow 
and I didn't get the struts until Thursday and I had no time to call around shops and on Friday I just forgot about it so we'll get this shit done I'm not too worried if we can get it done on Friday if I can book something for this Friday to go in hey even better you know what that means you can take all the time he wants and uh, not a big deal get my drive my driveway mode yep that's a, that's a thing <laughs> get my lawn mode on Friday too and then maybe spend Saturday uh, or maybe spend a Friday night fucking clearing up my garage so I have enough room to get to my workbench because I'm gonna need my workbench for when I start ripping into that fucking uh, smog pump Let's see what I can do for it and then once I get the car started and actually running under its own power the next battle plan is, is to clean her all up, call an appraisal deck, have them come over, give me a friggin' appraisal on it, and then call uh, Haggerty Insurance, put it under classic car insurance for uh, driving to work use, because I basically want to use it for daily driving, but it's a classic car, so I just don't feel like paying the full balls of the walls insurance on the slut, and go from there. So that's the battle plan, that's where it sits now. Um, hoping I can get that fucking smog pump freed up and running under its own power and then get the car back off up off its feet and, and rocking it but we'll find out this weekend because like this weekend there'll be no dad coming over and no renovations so it's just gonna be me myself my camera stupid and dumb dumb it's gonna be interesting but anyway I'm almost home, peeps and creeps, so I'll probably talk to you guys once I get there. So until then, peace of the frig. Audi. Alrighty, let's go get stupid and see if we can tie them up and drag them outside for a bit so we can get some running around room and poop and pee. Alrighty, oh, I've been shitting myself all day, people. It's been fucking brutal. It's been brutal. It's been a brutal day. Just been farting up a storm. And, uh,. Ugh, it's just been horrible with a capital horror. I just want to make sure he didn't shit the carpet or the floor. That looks so awesome! <laughs> I can't wait to get this whole place painted up and stuff. It's gonna look so good when it's done. It's gonna look so fucking awesome. And I was thinking uh, Dad and I were actually talking because we do that sometimes. And I want to pull this carpet over more. So it covers there, and I'm thinking about buying another area rug. Like if I decide to put my couch like right here-ish, so that my couch is here, that outlet, I can use it for my laptop. I got a telephone jack there for dial-up internet. And um, you know, I can I can have my TV right here. And then uh, I was thinking about buying an area rug for yaw, so like I can just have a carpet here to cover, uh, to put my feet on. While well, watching TV down here was stupid and bonehead. Or stupid and dumb dumb, I should say, because look at her. She looks pretty dumb dumb. She kind of looks like a majestic lion. She's all shaved in the back and fucking has a mane. But, uh, okay, stupid's done his pooping. I guess he can come back in. I guess he's earned the right to be back in the house. Where are you, stupid? Quit licking me. You're so gross. Say, quit doing that. He needs another fucking haircut there. Oh, Jesus. He just like went right into the cat and she went up on both hind legs. That was kind of cute and adorable and stuff. Hey, did you just get attacked by a cookie monster? I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm anxious to get this done. That's one thing I wanted to know. Did Dad leave his measuring tape here? No, he took it with him. I wanted to measure the length of the couch and just see how far out it would come from the wall, but the only idea I have is how long is the broom on the couch. Uh, the broom is a little bit shy, so if I put this up against the wall, it's gonna come up to about here. So it would come out even with that pillar. So that would work, that would work well. That would work really well. Like my measuring techniques, you just fucking eyeball it with whatever tool you can find in the house. Yeah, that's why I'm not a pro, people. That is why I'm not a pro. I'm sure there are also other reasons why I'm not a pro, but that's the most exclusive one. Are you a computer technician now, Scampers? I'll take that as a yes. Anyway, I'm gonna go make myself a small something to eat. I got some pogos in the freezers. 
mom bought me some pogos so i'm gonna go make some of those in the microwave and uh drive that on my i guess i can move my keurig back too so i'm gonna wash this plate up put some pogos on it drive it in the microwave move my keurig back yo so i moved it over here because dad had the outlet disabled in the other room the other day the one that's uh oh shit okay the one that's over here on the wall i gotta buy a plate for it still which i'll probably pick up one of these days and stab it on but uh like I said, that outlet's kind of fucky, and it's connected to the outlet over yard. So, I'll go ahead and move my uh, Keurig back after I uh, clean off this plate. And for anybody who wonders why I call corn dogs pogos, it's the same reason why I call mac and cheese craft dinner. It's the branding. These are the pogo branded corn dogs. Okay, and. This is the reason why in restaurants up here, like if you go to Ivan's or any of the truck stops or whatever, and you get, you order a corn dog and fries, well you don't order it like that. On the menu, it's going to be labeled Pogo and Fries. Even though Pogo is a brand, it's Pogo and Fries. Cheese and macaroni or macaroni and cheese, they sometimes have that on the menu as mac and cheese, especially if they're putting bacon in it. Shit, shouldn't have said that. And that's the thing is sometimes it doesn't have that, whatever the reason may be. But uh, generally, um, where the fuck is the wire for this one? It's right there. Good. Let's move my carry back. And generally, us Canucks are kind of brand oriented. You know, like we don't call them tissue paper or nose tissues, we call them Kleenex. But Kleenex is not the proper term, because Kleenex is a brand, you know? Paper towel, still paper towel, some people call it kitchen wipe, whatever. Uh, but, uh, toilet paper, still toilet paper, some people call them shit tickets, seems valid. But as far as, uh, like Kleenex, it's a brand, but we call it Kleenex, instead of saying, like, uh, hey, you got any Kleenex, or we'll get a box of Kleenex from the cupboard, or something like that. It won't be we'll get a box of nose or facial tissue. Go get a box of Kleenex. The brand takes the title, and that's what happened with Pogos, even though they're corn dogs. And that actually became a lawsuit at one point because uh, companies were producing no name Pogos and titling them Pogos, you know, for uh, 24 for, uh, for fucking 10 bucks or whatever the price was. Sometimes they're on sale for 7 bucks for 24. And when that happened, well, the Pogo company got a little buttered. And started dropping the copyright flag on them, saying, you keep calling that shit Pogos, and uh, we're going to go to court, and we're going to talk about this. So then, Kanukistan had, just like, you know, the, the other developers of, of corn dogs were like, well, shit, what do we call them then? People know the Pogo name. We can't call them Pogos, because Pogo is going to sue the tits off of us. So what do we call them now? And they just looked to the uh, south and went, well, America calls them corn dogs. Fuck it. We'll just call them by their generic name, Corn Dog, which is literally a wiener or a sausage or a hot dog, if you will, wrapped in friggin' uh, cornmeal. You can even do it with pancake batter if you want. Deep fried and ready to rock. Anyway, I still got five Coors or five uh, Canadians left for beer. I'm not drinking any tonight. I'm gonna have a bit of Mountain Dew there and eat my. Pogos, I can say it now because they're Pogo brand. And I'll probably get to bed early tonight, so I'm alert tomorrow for work. I'm off tomorrow night at 7.30, so that's fucking bonus. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then the weekend is here, which is awesome. But uh, one thing I do want to say is my new taps in the shower, fucking glorious. It's amazing when you can have a shower without having to open the hot and cold water all the way open. Just so you can get some pressure. A little bit of turn, a little bit of turn. Crank her to the shower. Fucking nice and strong stream nailing you. You can even tame her down a bit. It's fucking mint. But anyway, people, I'm shutting her down here. I'm going to call her quits for tonight and carry on tomorrow. What are we going to do tomorrow? Fuck if I know. We'll just pick up the camera and give her. Might be a shitty vlog tomorrow. Might be a good vlog tomorrow. Fuck if I know. But we'll see. So on that note, thanks for watching my video today, people. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know there wasn't much in it, but it is what it is. Um, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense. Check the link for descriptions. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.